My son just uh, completed kindergarten. He's the smartest one in the whole class. My daughter just danced in her first recital. Yeah, isn't she just the prettiest little girl? I mean, she is the best dancer out of all the girls. Well, my son just hit a home run in the championship game. Yeah, I'm so proud of that kid. That's it. I can't stand it anymore. I'm sorry. Uh, please consider this video a public service announcement. Today, we are talking about sharenting. Sharenting is the overuse of social media by parents in order to share content of their children. I know, I know, you love your kids. This is how you share information with your family, or you're just very proud of your kids. You can say anything you want. I still think it's a mistake, and I'm gonna tell you why. Hey guys, I'm Jason Kreidman and welcome to another episode of Dad University. We cover a different topic every Thursday, so be sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. I'm not really a controversial guy, but boy do people have strong feelings about this topic. It is true that moms have a tendency to post a little bit more about their kids than dads do, but dads are guilty as well. If you have something to say about this, please, I welcome your feedback in the comment section below. The topic of sharenting has become pretty serious. So let's take a look at some of the issues that we're facing as a result of parents oversharing. First, legal issues. There's a situation in which an 18-year-old girl is suing her parents because of a picture that they posted in which she didn't like. She didn't consent to the picture. So now they're in a lawsuit. There could be all kinds of legal issues in the future for parents because of them not getting consent from their child before posting. Another, body image issues. Starting kids off young with this idea that views or likes matter is not a good idea. Social media can be brutal. They'll even judge the appearance of a small child. Also, digital narcissism. Posting accomplishments or something that your child did actually makes you think that you are great. This isn't good for you or them. Your self-worth should not come from the accomplishments of your child. And finally, safety issues. Children's identities are being stolen more and more, and their safety is at greater risk because their identities are often known. People often think, ah, that would never happen to my child. I don't post that many photos, or I only post them in this situation. But the truth is, it's happening more and more. You have to be careful. So how do we navigate this as parents? What is okay to post and what is not? There's a lot of money being made from the content that includes children. Businesses are being created from content that includes children. So what do we do? Personally, I think the negatives greatly outweigh the positives when it comes to posting content about your kids online. But if you are going to post, I think it's important that we ask ourselves these questions. Number one, did I get the consent of my child to post? If they are too young to make that decision, then you ask yourself some additional questions. Number two, why am I posting? Am I doing this to feel better about myself? Because I can tell you, typically there is zero value to the child when you post. Number three, will my child ever be upset or embarrassed about the post? Are you talking about something negative that they did or maybe some way that they frustrated you? Think about how they will feel if they see this post. And number four, do you want this to be part of your child's digital archive? Posts are digital tattoos. They are permanent. So you need to be mindful of how the content might affect them in any way in their future. We all think that our children are the cutest, smartest, most talented people in the world. And we want people to like and share and post positive comments when we post something. Unfortunately, it really only does something for you and not the child. So let's agree and stop sharenting. I'd love to hear what you think. Do you think it's okay to post content about your kids? 
I'm sure you have an opinion. Leave your feedback in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click on that notification bell, and share this video on social media. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.